What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about crew jeans, or off-white jeans, or cream jeans, or maybe even a few trousers in there as well, or pants, however you want to call them. Well, so we're going to go through a list of my brand recommendations. I've tried to cover as much sort of budgetary aspects as possible, but always remember that pre-owned is out there. I often send out a list of pre-owned recommendations uh, through my Substack, The Guidance. As a side piece, sign up to that. It's just a newsletter I send out a couple of times a week with either recommendations for pre-owned items from all over the internet. I also put the links for everything we mentioned in the videos as well in there so i'll put everything in the description for that i also want to ask you guys something so i wanted to also put together like a mood board for each video so for whenever we talk about brands just something where i could put some images together with some like outfit ideas so i don't know where best to host this it could be a pinterest board or it could be a new instagram account so let me know in the comments below which one you prefer or even if you would like to see like a mood board just to show off how you can make some of these items fit into your wardrobe or different outfits. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer because I know it can be a bit annoying jumping around social apps but also Pinterest is very good for that kind of thing. So yeah, it'll be interesting to know which one you feel is best. Also guys, sorry about the lighting situation. I had to go au natural because it's so hot today. I'm actually just wearing this. So this is a Drake's linen overshirt, safari shirt thing because the t-shirt I'm wearing is pretty soaked. And I didn't want to look scruffy on camera. So instead of putting up the sort of like studio light things and closing the curtains, I thought we'd try and make it as airy as possible, even though I'm wearing too many clothes as it is. But anyway, let's get into this list of the crew jeans. First up, we have Private White VC, and this is the five pocket jeans in Alabaster, they call it. So these are 225 pounds. They come in three different colors, uh, Alabaster, denim, and azure so these look a great option they've got a really nice clean color to them they've got a kind of mid-rise to them so they're not overly high i know a lot of taller guys are concerned about their torsos looking smaller so if you are a bit concerned about that these might be a good option for you for you uh for someone like myself maybe i'd like something a little bit higher but actually if you look at the model like they're a decent height they're not you would never be called out for being low rise with these so 225 pounds is you know it's not cheap but these are made really well private white are, are a great company they make fantastic items of some, some really good materials and uh yeah these would be a good solid options to start off with as well they're nice and slim but not skinny uh they'll go with pretty much anything and a lot of footwear as well uh so yeah good starting point so next up we have levi 501 selvage jeans in the crew and these are only 91 pounds on the sale and as you can see here they've got a, a lovely rise to them like mid again they're not overly high but they're a good height they're a solid height you can see this uh, model wearing them here with an with a, a crew denim jacket I'm not suggesting you guys run out and do that but i think for the trousers these have a lovely shape to them the 501s they're classic they're icons of denim really there's no stretch to these at all they've, again they've got a really nice structure to them not much more you can say about levi 501s and for that price they're a bit of a no-brainer right of course we had to have drakes in here these are the crew 13.2 ounce denim five pocket jeans these are 245 pounds so uh, a little bit more than the previous ones with drakes you know you're going to get good quality it fits a classic fit so if you like a slim but not overly slim jean and or you like a wide but overly not wide trouser then this might be the one for you i hope that made sense because i'm going a little bit crazy with this heat but anyway Yes, it does come with a bit of a price too at £245, but Drake's just have such a lovely silhouette to them. They have a really nice high rise to them as well and uh, are a really good choice if it's within your budget. Okay, so next up we have Suit Supplies Off-White Straight Leg Jeans. These are £149, so a fair bit less than the Drake's ones. And these are a solid option if you do like a little bit more of a slimmer leg than the others, uh, especially around the sort of crotch area, uh, because having that, that room around there isn't for everyone. Some guys just like to be uh, a little bit more tapered, a little bit slimmer around there. And um, this would be a good option for you. Quality wise, they're probably not going to be on the same level as Drake's or um, some of the others we mentioned later on, the more expensive ones. But for the price, and if you like that sort of slimmer, sleeker cut, this is a good option. Next up, we have one for the guys who like a looser trouser. And this is the Studio Nickerson Reed Denim Pant. And these are £147 on offer at the moment. These are 40% off. So it's a good chance to get in on them if you are interested. And yeah, as I said, these are much wider, a lot looser. And if you do like the more oversized look, this is a good shout for you. Studio Nickerson, I really like as a brand. I do have a few pairs of trousers in this sort of shape. I just don't wear them that much. Um, not necessarily because they don't flatter my physique and my height, uh, which they don't really, uh, because I would absolutely wear them if I felt 
I've just fa fancied it. But um, it's more that I just, at the moment, I'm in, in a more, just more classic fit sort of stage of my life. Um, but 100% for like an easy Sunday morning market stroll. These are the ones. Next, we have Arquette with their Ocean Loose Straight Jeans. And these are £87, so a really good price. Uh, I have owned a pair of Arquette jeans, at least one pair of Arquette jeans, and I actually really like them. It had a really good rise to the to the, the, the trouser. The legs were quite straight. I mean, these say loose straight jeans, which gives the inference that they're going to be looser. But actually, they're just a normal straight jean, really. Um, you can see here on the model here, they're just a standard jean. It's just because Arquette are leaning more towards the sort of people that shop at maybe the more fast fashion-y sort of places. And... Um, loose straight jeans and straight jeans to a lot of that custom base is very loose so um these are a good cut and for that price is a it's a solid option as well they're coming in lots of different colors and um yeah uh, definitely a good option i'd say percival's five pocket twill trousers are next and again not necessarily jeans but i do quite like these these are 110 pounds um, they have some really good reviews in them uh, as well and they just look like a really nice solid pair of uh, crew trousers um, I think a lot of people especially if you're not used to wearing lighter colours or white trousers or crew trousers or whatever it is um, maybe you don't want to jump in at the sort of straight in at the £250 pairs because you want to get more comfortable in terms of wearing them if you don't want to end up buying these things and then not wearing them because you're worried about them getting stained and actually just buying them maybe a little bit more of an affordable pair and seeing how actually they wash out pretty well you don't tend to stain them as much as maybe you think you would um is, is a better way forward for it and uh yeah these are pretty solid like I, I i like these i like the proportions of them uh the trousers width is straight to slim but as you can see on the model here like they go well with like loafers uh i think they're they're a nice choice i would like to see a bit of a higher waist to them but um not bad not bad at all okay next up we have dickie's thomasville denim trousers and these are 80 pounds a little bit more wider on the leg higher on the waist i like this shade of a crew as well it's got a nice hint of yellow in it which uh is really nice it's come in five different colors also but uh, dickie's are a solid workhorse for that price, you definitely can't go wrong. My only thing with wearing Dickies and yeah, Brits, we're not, the brand awareness isn't anything like it is in the States. I always just remember being turned off by the little badge at the back when I was younger, but I've got a pair of brown Dickies and I absolutely love them. And uh, yeah, these will be a solid choice. Now, these are probably my favorites is the Anglo-Italian denim crew wash jeans at 250 pounds. So right up there in terms of price, but Anglo-Italian jeans are just uh, have a really nice silhouette nice high rise to the waist a a good bit of room around the sort of crotch area and the seat area and it sort of tapers down into a kind of slimish leg so it's got a lot of shape to it and nothing goes too far away from the other so i mean it doesn't go too slim it's not like a carrot trouser but uh i really love these yes they are quite expensive but um I think these are probably my favorite of the bunch because they also go really nicely with that sort of slimmer leg. They also go really easy with other slimmer forms of shoe. Uh, nothing too slim or anything, but they go great with loafers. They go great with boots. Um, so they kind of these kind of are the more do it all trouser. Next up, we have Ralph Lauren's Heritage Straight Jeans, and these are 159 pounds. And these have, have, have quite a nice sort of fit to them. Like I like the width of the leg. I would love to see a high rise in that waist. For me, that's the thing that puts me off them. But I think for the price, you know, you've got decent quality with Ralph Lauren trousers. Uh, it's got a nice tone of color to them. I guess to say the nice width to the, to the leg as well. It's just the rise looks a little bit low for me. So I wanted to put these in here anyway, because I do think they're nice. And if you are someone that just doesn't like higher waisted trousers, these might be the ones for you. So Alex Mill is a brand we've spoken about a fair few times. And these painter straight leg recycled jeans in a crew are a lovely little option, in my opinion, for a more casual look. Uh, these are 40% off on Mr. Porto now, so they're £108. And I really like these as a more looser option. They look super comfortable. They're more of a painted trouser, so they look a little bit more workwear. But... I love the colour to them. I love how they look really soft and comfortable and they just go with more casual wear. And whilst they are wide-legged, they're not overly wide, so you can get away with pairing them with more items in your wardrobe and wearing them to just more situations as well. So yeah, really like these. Love that tone and the softness to them. And um, for that price as well, at 40% off, it's a really good deal. Finally, we have Fursax 
cotton gabardine flare trousers in white. So this is a bit of a fun inclusion for me. So I actually bought a pair of first set white jeans uh, pre-owned and I actually love them. They're not quite in this shape. They're not flared. I don't think they're flared at all. They've got a really nice high rise to them. They're super white. They're like so, so white. And for a pre-owned pair of trousers, there's not a single stain on them, which is amazing. And um, yeah, I just really like these. Really interesting shape. They've got a crazy high waist to them and they ever so slightly flare out. So if you're looking at something for a little bit different, um, this could be a really great option for you. Also, First Act is an underrated brand, in my opinion. I know a lot of my friends who aren't really into fashion aren't too aware of them. And uh, yeah, this is just a really fun pair. And especially if you want more of a whiter color, these could be a great shout. Anyway, guys, there are my list of a crew and off-white jeans and trousers. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Also, if I've missed any out or you want to recommend any, do drop them in the comments as well. Always good to hear any other brand recommendations or if you've got any experience with any of these, let me know in the comments. Please do check out archwars.com for pre and menswear and sign up to the Substack, the guidance. That will have all the links for today's brands in there. Hopefully I can get that all posted out before this video goes live. If not, it'll be available in the next sort of couple of hours. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Please remember to like and subscribe on the way out and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.